Alright, thank you so much for tuning back in to another reaction video. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. And we are Offset. Era. Woohoo! Wahoo! Oh, right. Yeah! Yahoo! <laughs> Alright, if you can't see it in the title, we're bringing back News! We had a little bit of some trouble, especially with one of the last videos where I had to chop most of the content out of it. I'm really sorry for that. Um, this comes as a suggestion from one of our Patreon members. Uh, they He said that the um, this one shouldn't get blocked. I'm hoping that's the case. Um, or at least it takes a minimal amount of tooling to get it out past any copyright blocks. But we've had some bad luck with Muse. Uh, but we, we know that many of our viewers do like our, our Muse reactions. We're fairly new to them. If you've seen our original video, what we checked out when we first started bringing on the Muse, we went through their, you know, their history and everything and realized that they had been together for a very long time. Yeah. And we really just haven't really, we kind of just went over our heads i guess a little bit yeah so anyway the song that we're checking out is stockholm syndrome yes uh this is a good uh from what i've heard one of the better performances down at the mayan in 2015 uh video is on this shady slady 911 video uh channel uh, this one was posted eight years ago. Just under a million views, though, so for a fan channel, that's pretty good. Yes, it is. Let's check out some of the comments here. This dot 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 is dot 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 the dot 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 last dot 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 time I'll <laughs> fudge. I don't know. Fudge. I don't know what that. I don't. I, I don't know. I guess it'll make sense when we watch this. Movie. Yeah, I, I. I can't help but think we're missing some context here. Yes. In other videos, he really emphasizes. Forget the... Shire. Forget you. Oh, forgets you. Maybe we'll find out. Well, yeah. Uh, Simultaneously, the heaviest, most beautiful, and heartbreaking song in existence. Ooh. Dominic Howard on drums, giving all his body and soul as if it's the the apocalypse. He's that monster. Even Dream Theater was inspired by the song. What? Wow. Yeah. Re really? Really? Huh. They are truly genius musicians. Nice. That's if you're cool. able to, if you're able to give Dream Theater, you know, extra creative incentive, then more power to you. That's awesome. Yeah. They are the best rock band ever. I cannot say this lightly. I offer this. I love how the guitar tone changes at 509. 531, I've seen Muse twice, and the ending riff to Stockholm Syndrome has always been some of the largest energy at a concert I've felt. I love how the tone of the guitar changes if... Okay, someone else said that. I already that said that. that. Oh, okay. That I just a, said it. That was a different one. Stop copying me. They combine <laughs> rock, operatic elements so well, triumph and tragic all at the same time. Just brilliant. Nice. And with that being said... Let's get jumping. Let's jump on into this one. Make sure it's at the beginning. It will be at the beginning. Because it's, it's in the middle right now. It will be at the beginning. Well, that's good news. At the beginning. And for anyone jumping into the Muse for the very first time with us, welcome to the channel. Welcome indeed. This will not be our first video with the Muse, as we previously mentioned. So make sure you go check out our playlist on our YouTube channel under Muse Reactions. And yep. you can check the rest of them out. And after you do, let us know which ones we need to do next. If you're not new to the channel... You know what time it is. Wait, what time is it? It's time for the glorious epic transition. transition. <laughs> we are. <clears throat> okay. Uh, now, without further ado. Stockholm Syndrome. Live. 2015. Muse. The Live Mayan. 2015. Again. Again, 2015. They really want you to know what year this was. This guy yeah. is enjoying that water bottle. You really hear how much dirt and stuff he's got on that guitar. So many effects. <clears throat> he's just letting it ring out. So noisy. Yeah, he's scraping the strings really slow. Making as much noise as possible. Oh. oh, shiny guitars with light up dots. Ooh. 
Oh, the riff. Like that shovel beat. Noticing something, maybe you're picking up on it too. Does it sound like he's descending while he's ascending? A little bit. I think because it's like he, the guitar's going na 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 But now I look at the bass player and he's doing he's going the opposite direction. I don't know if I'm hearing that, but it sounds interesting. That opening riff, that was sick. It's a very cool riff, but I feel like it's a lot of the same type of techniques being used. A lot of the open na 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 na. And the reason I know this is because I also use those type of riffs. They're really fun. Na 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 na. We are playing opens between a lot of the fretwork yeah and it makes what, it sound really moving what makes it extra interesting is what he was doing on the bass you know yeah. he wasn't doing like he wasn't doing like those fast notey parts you know in conjunction with the guitar he was kind of kind, over you it. know a little bit a little bit more rhythmic you know yeah. in, more in conjunction with what the drums were doing so it's yeah. like you know you know just like then then letting the bass rest yeah. and then hitting and then doing that pattern again i see yeah, punching in every few seconds. Punching it in every couple of beats. Let me see. And he's got glow in the dark front. Yeah, when he came out, we saw that he's got those. And that, I guess it really, it's, we see this a lot with the warning too, where they have that. I guess that must be really helpful when it's on a when when dark stage or something. Yeah. We've played a lot of dark places and I just never felt a need for that, but I always felt there was ample light. So I don't know how dark it gets at concerts, but I know that if you're playing for that many people, you really do want to see where your faint your I remember. Are. We, I remember three years ago when we were at the Blue Note in Tampa. Yeah. You know, there was barely any stage lights. It was dark yeah. in, that, in that low play area, and I could barely see. Yeah. Right. Yeah, see, he's going up. He's going down. Yeah. Either, that, either that or he's holding the same note while he's going up still. I think that might be what's going on. Backer of 
levels are good too. Drums. Yeah, this is. I think this is the way they yeah. retain that the tone changed. Um, I'm not seeing him step on anything, which tells me they're all playing to a click, and his t his all his patches are being triggered automatically, which is super impressive. It always like try drives me crazy that they you can have a a show that dialed in, to where you don't have to do anything with the board or anything. Everything's played to the click, and everything changes when it's supposed to change, and all you have to do. Is worry about your guitar playing. Yep. I'm kind of jealous about that fact because uh, if anyone's going to our shows right <laughs> ever, they know that I struggle with touching the the, the pedal board, and yeah, that's, that's, that's not why, a good idea usually. Yeah, that's why for some songs, you know, I you, take off my shoes. He, yeah, he takes off his shoes <laughs> because it, I miss the buttons, <laughs> <laughs> or I hit too many buttons because I'm used to playing with no shoes when I play here at my house. Yeah, but we, you know, we were able to, you know, play it off. And oh, yeah, we make it off. Like, you know, shit happens. It does. You know, we're all humans. It's not supposed to be perfect. And, yeah. You know, we were, you know, it's all about rolling with the punches, taking right. things in stride, and yep. you know, and you know, it's it's not about not making mistakes. It's about how you pick your it's how it's how you pick yourself up after missing a step. Right. Yeah. You or, know that better than most. You've fallen a few times on stage. Yeah. I've unplugged shit. I have uh, <laughs> lost my. I had completely disconnected my wireless while playing one time. I just like <laughs> didn't want to bother with it. Just plug the cable in. I was like, let's keep going. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, leave the running around to me. It's not real fair that you know. I mean, yeah. I guess it's fair there. We'll get to that huge level. band, but it's it's nice to see something like that. You look yeah. how clean the performance is. He doesn't have to worry about stepping on stuff. I love it. I I, I do envy it. That's really cool. Oh, love that riff. And he's like muffing it out, like that's such a muffed hat sound. What's happening?
Moving. <laughs> Those are some wild ass snakes. Oh, 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 Somebody, I didn't see her away. That must be their last song. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's got to be at that point. Yeah. All right. Let's knocking go. over your cabinet, and throwing your guitar around. I thought he was. It would have been cool if he just went full on Pete Townsend and just, you know, did the windmill and just went and smashed the guitar. <laughs> All right. Um, Lots to say about that. So Stock wow, that, Stockholm that, Syndrome. That song was that was like all over the place. All the different time changes. Mm -hmm. I can I can understand how Dream Theater was inspired by this song. You know, it's yeah. You know, it's it's a it's a longer song. It's you know, as far as you know, Muse songs that we've checked out so far. You know, I would I would I would you know consider this at the very least you know prog adjacent. Right. All the different time changes, the instrumentation, the mm -hmm. just the different sounds that they all make and. Yeah. You know, like, you know, blending the operatic, the haunting operatic themes with, you know, with the rock and mm -hmm. all the different riffs and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's really, you know, really, 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 really cool. I love the guitar playing. Um, I think in particular, I'm starting to pick up his use of the whammy bar more and more and using it in ways yeah, that... Yeah, he's doing some really, really cool stuff with the whammy. Mm -hmm. I, I it makes me kind of want to use one, although I don't play on a whammy. Uh, you have a, you have a whammy setting on your pedal, right? Yeah, so be you gotta a, try you gotta try messing yeah, around with that. Yeah, we could do some really cool stuff with yeah. whammy. You just I would want one that uh, is able to disengage and reengage quickly yeah. without distorting the tone. So I I think I might have to mess with that because there's so much uh, there's so much variance in what we he was doing. It, we can make that into a song for the next EP. Oh yeah, it, that would be really easy. A little whammy pedal. But yeah, I love that. That was very cool, man. It did. It had the quintessential sound of the Muse too, especially at the beginning where they're going. Nah, and they had that Tom group, and they're all just riffing, yeah. like doing the up and down strokes, and they. She's got that that big vocal and that big like operatic delivery, and they're riffing, and that's that wall of thundering drums. That's just quintessential, right? And then the big riff at the beginning. And then he, th I love how they threw the harm harmonics in at the beginning. Yeah, all those artificial <laughs> harmonics. <laughs> and and they're, 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 they're just, you know, it all just like seems so seamless. Yeah, very cool. You know, very clean. Ex you know, very very clean execution from, or not execution. More, I think a more appropriate term would be instrumentation. Right. You know, very clean performance, very clean instrumentation. Very cool. You know, and especially for a longer song like that, like, yeah. you know, to to you know to carry that. To carry that energy consistently from beginning to end like that. That was really good. You know, and just all the different dynamics and everything. Like, not everybody can do a can do long songs like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that was Stockholm Syndrome Live 2015 Muse at the Mayan 2015 as well, because that's the year it happened. That's the and that's <laughs> the year this video was released on this YouTube channel. All right. <laughs> if you guys like Muse, you know what to do. Comment and let us know what you'd like to hear. Smash that like button. Yes. And hit that subscribe bell. Yes. And uh, or hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Us. That's what I mean. Yes. And let us know what you want to see uh, moving forward with the uh, Muse, and we'll be happy to jump on that. Absolutely. But in the meantime, we are Offset, Offset era. era. We are two-thirds of Offset Era, a three-piece punk core act of sunny southwest Florida. 
If you're curious as to what Punk Core entails, we have an extensive playlist of all of our original music, yep. as well as a brand new EP called Top Shelf Villain, which is available now on all digital streaming platforms. Super excited that it's finally out. We did put a video out. It's a lyric video. with uh, We used uh, some alternative means uh, to put a video together. I hope everyone gets a chance to check it out. It will be in the cards of this video at the end. Make yep. sure you go check it out. It's very, very cool. We're getting lots of good feedback. It's only two and a half minutes, please. Go check out that video. And in that two and a half minutes, there's still quite a bit going on. So Yes, it's a cool song. Please check it out. Please check out Top Shelf Villain either here on our YouTube channel, uh, anywhere where digital music can be streamed. Spotify, iTunes, you know, Google Plus, whatever, and YouTube, if you're, Bandcamp. Yeah, if you're already on YouTube, you can click on our channel and go to our other channels. We have added the topic uh, offset era where you can also stream. Both of our albums are on there. Uh, we also have an original playlist, as he mentioned earlier. Yep. So make sure you check it out. We're really, really excited and can't wait to see where the songs take us. Uh, with that being said, we have shows coming up. That's right. Friday, April 12th, we're going to be at Beach Records in Fort Myers, Florida with Dead Set Collective, Social Infants, and Ichinen. That's going to be an awesome show. We haven't played in Beach Records since they moved. I haven't been to Beach Records at all yet, so it'll be, cool. my, it'll be my first time there. It's a little smaller venue, so if you plan on going, make sure you get there early so yep. you get a good spot to check us out. It's uh, right there in Fort Myers. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'll be happy to let you know where the show is. And then Saturday, April 13th, we're going to be at Ollie's Pub Records and Beer. Yeah, another Ollie show. Uh, we're going to continue playing Ollie's until for they close. Long, yep, for so, as long as we can, for as long as Ollie's is able to keep going. Yeah, regardless of what happens, we continue to pick up shows. If you happen to be in the local area, make sure you follow us on Instagram and, and on Facebook. Yep, and of course on YouTube. On YouTube. We will be posting more about our shows. Please come out and see us. We'd love to see some new faces. And we'd love to see some old familiar faces as well. That's it. Well, that's it for this video. We want to thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Let us know what you want to see in the next one. And we'll see you then. See you there.